This is probably the most confusing flight I've ever done. The wind couldn't make up its mind, mine and Cynthia's comms weren't working properly at all, and Cynthia had an engine out and just disappeared. And then I went on this wild goose chase trying to find her. This video was shot back in the summer of 2021, but I wanted to revisit it because as new pilots, we're all very nervous about that first engine out. I know I am, I still haven't had mine. So this is really just talking about that and how it really wasn't that big of a deal. Cynthia remembered her training and it all went perfectly fine. So let's get to it. You got this. Excellent. Good. Well done. I'll see you in a minute. So you can see me here just clipping into my wing, getting ready to launch, and I have a nice headwind. Everything's feeling good. And as I bring the wing up, the wind shifts and suddenly I take a hard left and now I'm taking off 90 degrees to where I launched and as my foot leaves the ground, this happens. Babe, I just stalled. Oh my god. Okay, this is bad. Imagine flying and suddenly everything goes quiet and you know that your engine's just stopped. So I haven't actually had my first engine out yet but as a dramatic person I'd imagine it feels something like this. <laughs> I mean, I'm tripping balls here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that first feeling? The second you knew your engine was not working and you had to commit to land? <laughs> yeah, I guess my first thought was kind of like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was kind of smooth sailing. <laughs> I was well surrounded and I, I had a lot of, I had people around me to help me out. Do you want me to turn the microphones off while you go to the toilet? Um, <laughs> ideally. Okay. 20 minutes later. So there you have it. It really wasn't that big of a deal. She remembered her training and everything went fine. And then she just had to hoik all of her gear out of the field. It was a super hot day and we were fully laden with fuel. And Cynthia is just such a trooper. She marched away out of that field, got her composure, relaunched and then joined us in the sky. And the plan at that point was to go on a cross country and land out at a friend's place, but unfortunately we just wasted way too much time and it didn't happen. But we still had a really, really nice flight, so here's some highlights of that. And that's it. This is a short one. I just wanted to discuss the engine out. I've probably done over a thousand miles of flying, over 50 flights, and my uh, Maverick with my Atom 80 uh, is still going strong. The Atom 80 is just the little engine that could, but regardless, if you're flying over two stroke engine on your back, um, it's about to stop, is the attitude that I've been told to have. So with that being said, we always make sure that we have at least a couple of really good places to land at any point during the flight. So if you like this one, uh, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one.